Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I want to thank all of you new subscribers for subscribing. I really appreciate it and I hope that um, when you stop in to see what I have to say, I hope that it blesses you all. Um, today I just want to give an update to my Life of Fred. I've been doing Life of Fred with my son since he was about fifth grade. He is 10th grade now and so I wanted to talk about um, how it has gone for high school. Now I know a lot of people know about the elementary series and Life of Fred is a pretty pro popular math curriculum anyways so you may just know about the intermediate series and things like that. If not just check out the um, my other videos on it where I just get a give a briefing of each one um, well each section. But what I want to talk to you today uh, today about is just really how it has gone with Israel. Now what we did is for his ninth grade year, he's 10th grade now, we finished up the elementary series because I really wanted him to do that. So even before he hit ninth grade, we were finishing that up. But because I am not all about his grade level, I'm, I'm, I'm about you know, him just understanding and mastering what he's doing. Um, I did not, you know, just stop a book and just hit all of the high school books. So we have gone from the very beginning of Life of Fred Apples, and now we are at uh, Pre-Algebra 1 with Biology. So before we get to that, that particular book, I want to talk to you about um, where we did get stuck at for a moment. So when you get to the pre-algebra series of Life of Fred and you're talking about what you do before high school, um, it's like a pre-high school requisite. And it's not so much required, but um, good to hit so you can have a very good foundation because foundation is key in math. So, you know, if your foundation is shaky, then the whole house will be shaky. So you want to make sure you build that foundation strong. And that was what I hope to accomplish with Israel. So when we got to fractions, which is the very first book in the um, pre-algebra series, we started with Life of Fred Fractions. Um, he kind of had a hard time with it. And I found that a lot of people, a lot of students, have a hard time with fractions. And that's because somewhere along the way, um, they did not grasp a concept. So when I saw that for us, Israel's weakness was basically not being able to understand rules all at one time. And he wanted to know how it related to real life. Well, if you know anything about Life of Fred, it's set up to show you math in the everyday life of this little guy who's five years old and his name is Fred. So because he didn't, because Israel... I saw that weakness in him and I saw how much he was struggling with fractions. What I did was I just completely stopped Fred for a brief moment. I put it on the shelf and I brought out um, other things to help him to, you know, solidify his foundation. So some things that I use on YouTube, um, I'm going to name the ones that I use. And one that really, really helped was Tech Math on YouTube, T-E-C Math. And that really gave little tricks and ways to do fractions that we really weren't taught to do in school. And that helped him a lot. Another thing that helped Israel was Math Antics. And it's also on YouTube. And he also has a website, mathantics.com. And I believe that on this website, you can do the free, you know, a free worksheet. But to get the whole year worth is $20 or something like that. Um, another one that I went to to help explain some concept um, is mathisfun.com. Now, that helped me to explain to him a little bit better and also have some little practice problems he can do. Of course, I very famous Khan Academy um, was one that uh, he went to sometimes. He didn't use it all the time. Um, he kind of found sometimes that it went too fast for him. So, um, but we did use Khan Academy at some point. Um, and another one that I really like is Math 
Papa.com. M-A-T-H-P-A-P-A.com. And the reason why I like this one is because you can plug whatever math problem it is into um, the site and it'll show you how to work it step by step. But because I'm in eclectic in style, meaning I like to pull different resources, look at it, study it, and try to present it to him in the way that he understands, because I I, I did that, I was able to, you know, really get his foundation solid. So, Life of Fractions, I believe, you know, like I said, was hard and is hard, especially if you don't have a solid foundation. So, please make sure that your children are solid in addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Those things need to be completely you know, um, grounded before you hit fractions. And even if you have an older and you're going to put him, put them right into fractions, just use like a math app, give them extra practice in those things and still do Life of Fred. So what I did with Israel is that we just stopped. So he got stuck um, somewhere in the middle of the book where it got to, I believe, division. Now, division in, in fractions for me in school was simple and easy, but we have to remember that what was easy for us is not going to be easy for your children. And what seems simple for us is not going to be simple for them. And all of us learn differently. So I found that with Israel that if I just went step by step, and did that and showed that to him and we practiced it for two weeks, he got it. So what I wound up doing was saying, okay, let me start at the beginning because one thing I wanted to do was build Israel up to give him success because if he feels, if he feels like he have accomplished it and he understood it, it'd give him more uh, um, confidence to move on and more confidence in himself to keep trying and not give up. So I went right, right back to fractions at the very beginning. This is me teaching him without Fred. And we went over adding and subtracting unlike fractions, adding and subtracting um, like fraction, multiplying fractions, um, dividing fractions, um, whole numbers, mixed numbers. Uh, we went over all of that. And I say we spent a good two or three months doing that. I kind of used the summer um, of what we were doing because we continue on through the summer. I used the summer to solidify all of that. And then I thought, okay, he's ready. When we went back into fractions, guess what? He breathed through it. And that showed me that his foundation was solid and not only solid, that he had a good concept of what Fred was talking about before we even got there. So it became easier for him. And then after that, we hit decimals and percents. Decimals and percent is that next book that comes right after fractions. And this is what I tell everybody. If you got a found good foundation in fractions, you'll be okay in decimal and percents. It is not as hard as the fractions book. But what it is, if you think about decimals, uh, let's say if you think about decimals, it's really another way of saying this is a fraction. And I'll do a whole nother um, video on decimals and percents. So right now, um, Israel and I, we got through decimals and percents, and we are now, like I said, doing pre-algebra one with biology. Now, if I look at standards and things like that, which I don't, but if I did, Israel is not where he should be as far as standards are concerned, but he is where he should be for him. And we're going to keep on and we're going to work through the summer. And by the time he graduates, he would have hit the geometry book. We're going to keep going even after that. So I always encourage him to keep learning on his own. And one thing that I love about my son is that he does not give up. So if something seems hard to him, I know some sometimes we just need to take a break. But other than that, 
Um, he wants to keep going and keep going. He has not given up on this curriculum. It is the curriculum that he chose. I did give him a choice between Saxon Math and Life of Fred. And this one, he was about fifth grade. And he chose Life of Fred, which completely shocked me. It did take me outside of the box and took me outside of what I was comfortable in doing. But I'm telling you, I've learned more with the Life of Fred math that I have in any math throughout high school. And he teaches so much more than math. There are so many great things that's inside here that you can pull from and go into other subject areas. So I want to just stop in and share with you guys where we are and how we're doing. I'm very satisfied with where Israel is. I have to remember that as a parent, it's not all about me staying um the course in what everybody else is doing, but it's about me doing what's best for my child. And I hope you guys do what's best for your kids, whether it's Life of Fred, Saxon Math, CTC, any of those math programs, do what's best for them. Children will tell you what they need. They will tell you what works for them. And math is one of those things that I find that a lot of kids are weekend but if we take it back and we slow it down for a moment and we actually think about how we teach everything else that is exactly what we have to do in math try not to get frustrated find those resources and the resources that i gave you earlier i will lit um link in the description box so yes um just take a look if you are um in your middle school area or anything like that, take a look at the Life of Fred pre-algebra series. Um, EduSense.com has a great deal that's going on. Um, I think they're giving a percentage off and free shipping. You know what? Order one book or get it from your library if they have it uh, and, and just go through it and see if it's for you. If it's not, go and do what is best for your children. But all in all, it has worked for us. This is where we are. And I so, so am excited for Israel and the way he learns. Um, as you all know, I have four children. Three have graduated. We graduated them. Um, and Israel is the last one. So the great thing about that is that I really um, can focus just on him. Um, I don't have to combine any other kids with him. He misses that, but I can actually just focus on him and have my attention towards him. So all in all, this is all about what's best for your children, do what works, and, um, and find um, that foundation that you can build on, build their foundation because it's so key. So this is all I have for you today. It's just a quick Life of Fred update in where we are. And I hope that this blesses you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.